land on this final day of July. The conditions for baseball in Bronx, New York couldn't be any finer with some of the brightest stars on the Major League landscape head to head tonight. Less than 24 hours remain until the trading deadline and two teams locked up in a tight pennant race. We welcome you to Yankee Stadium for the first of a three game series on the Casamigos MLB Network showcase. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees. Johnny Brito replacing Domingo Herman. Those are the numbers on Brito. Four and four, 4.70. 35 strikeouts in 51 and two-third innings. Perhaps a bit too many walks. DS has been an exceptionally patient hitter throughout his big league career, and he opens the ball game with an opposite field base hit. Only Bo Bichette with a higher batting average on American League paperwork at the start of play. And Diaz look, how I, baby. looking for a little momentum down there. Come on, play with me. Brandon Lau now with one out, one on. And Lau is nine of his last 19 with three homers and seven runs batted in. There's a high drive out to deep right. Stanton takes a look, and that one's gone. The Rays got here outscoring opponents 66 to 31 in the first inning. And they've got a 2 0 first inning lead here tonight. League slugging 889 against that pitch and it just went up. I'll tell you this right now about the Yankees approach on gloss now. They better be ready to go hunting the first fastball that they see. I'm talking be ready to hit first pitch. You do not want to get behind in the count. And of course a warm ovation for the reigning American League MVP and for Aaron Judge 45 days 42 days exactly on the injured list but a longer absence between home games his first home appearance in over 60 days Ten. and a called strike three taken by Judge in his first at bat tonight. There is nobody better in baseball at putting away hitters. Hitters are hitting 110 against Tyler Glass now with two strikes. And the pitch, low ground ball out in front of the plate. Glass now picks it up between the legs, throws to first, and they're already booing here in the Bronx. Two soft grounders and a looking strikeout. By the end of one, it's 2 nothing Rays. Inning one goes to the Rays, and now we go to the second. And here's Isak Paredes. Paredes swings and lines one down the left field line. That's good for a base hit, and extra base is likely. Over to the corner is Jake Bowers and Paredes. Moving his way into second base with ease and pulling in with a leadoff double. Go take Siri with Paredes in scoring position. Here is Siri, and he hits a ground ball to short. The throw to third, and they will tag out the runner who, uh, Paredes, it went to third. Why? That's a Yankee running play. Crossing to third with the ball hit in front of you, not behind you. Behind you, you can go. So that was an easy. So it's a fielder's choice for Siri. Siri stolen seven bags in nine tries this year, and there he goes. Pitch misses up and in. Throw has no chance. Stolen base number eight for Jose Siri. But you see Rortfeldt's throw is going to be on the right field side of the base. They're teaching a lot of catchers to do this now. I think you're right, Tom. They're going to challenge this. And they will take a look to see if Torres got the tag on the foot or leg before Siri got to the bag. Wow, that would really be something because Siri had that beaten. After the review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Wow. Tag came down on the runner's foot. Looked like Siri had that one stolen. Still 2 0 Rays. Here is the X Ray Jake Bowers, two for five with a couple of runs batted in yesterday. Another breaking ball. Bowers was looking for that one. Well hit out to right center. Siri back and it's gone. Homers in back to back games for Jake Bowers and the X Ray gets one of them back for New York. 340 against non fastballs. Only Luis Arise with a better batting average there. The next 3 2 pitch, another fastball. Grounded a third. LeMahieu makes the play. A good play by the four time gold glover for route number two. A nice range here by LeMahieu playing deep on Diaz. To his left, knows he still has time and makes a good solid throw. Here's Wander Franco now. Switch hitting shortstop, fly to left in his first at bat. High and deep out to right field. Stanton gives a look, and that one is long gone. 13th of the year for the seventh Wander of the world. Now that's called winning in a bat. Just took away the two best pitches of Brito, the sinker and the changeup. Aaron Judge did not get sent out on any kind of a rehab assignment, as Lauren Shahadi reported earlier missed 42 games you don't want him getting hot on your watch in fact just the opposite and it's a four pitch walk issued to Aaron Judge guy who's got really good control numbers Tyler Glass now appeared to want nothing to do with Aaron Judge Rizzo bounced back to the mound in his first at bat 
Volpe running on the two strike pitch that swung on and missed doesn't matter and in and out of trouble is Tyler Glass now in the third. Here's Isak Paredes now. Isak Paredes gets a hold of one. No surprise to the pull side. A double and a homer all of it to left the third long ball of the night for Tampa and it's four to one raise Josh Lowe with the ball out to center field Bader turning around and that one flies bombs away for the Rays tonight. It's not quite August yet but the Tampa Bay Rays look like a different team than they have the rest of this month of July offense coming to life with the long ball Domingo Herman was unable to start because of what we were told was an aggravated muscle under his pitching armpit as he comes on in for Johnny Brito in the fifth. Chopped to Volpe. Takes a step and fires, and that'll do it. Nice, easy one, two, three inning for Domingo Herman. We're halfway through. 5 1 Tampa Bay. Anthony is now 0 for 30 with two outs and runners in scoring position this year. It's the longest streak to start a season since Mike Moustak has had an 0 for 30 in 2013. Wow. That one is driven to right field. It is off the wall. A bullet off the wall. Rarely fires it in. Moving to third is Judge. You can't hit it much harder than Rizzo just hit that one. Well, that's got to feel good, even though it's a base hit. Well, the Yankees have first and third, one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Tampa with a 5 1 lead. Here is Stanton. Stanton, the hitter, and a ground ball to third. Paredes down to Lau, and Lau over to Diaz. 5 4 3 on the double play. And that will take care of that threat. We go to the seventh inning, 5 1 Rays. Tyler Glass now, 85 pitches through five, a one run, three hit baseball, six strikeouts, and a couple walks. The 0 2 pitch is swung on and missed by LeMayhew. As Betancourt finishes the out with the throw, and that's seven strikeouts for Glass now tonight. And a swing and miss. That will take care of Bowers back to back strikeouts on six pitches. On the ground to third. Paredes throws a strike to Diaz and it's one two three a nine pitch inning five one Rays. Rayleigh takes third Paredes trails into second two men in scoring position for Jose Siri swing and a miss that's exactly what he did and Siri down on strikes we go to the bottom of the ninth the Yankees are down by four and they are three outs away from an important series opening victory in the Bronx and the Yankees have set a new franchise futility record 30 strikeouts in their last two games Yankees are down to their last strike tonight and LeMahieu serves a fly ball out to center for Jose Siri and the Rays claim game one of this important interdivision rival. 5-1 Tampa the final score and the Rays making a statement tonight the Yankees have now lost 12 of their last 16 against division opponents.